guys, Bay Area Aquatics here, coming at you with a quick rant video, really. Um, you guys have seen the update on the tank, nothing new has really changed. But I did receive a pretty interesting bit of news just 20 minutes ago. I was um, looking at Reef Central's forms, and I saw that um, Petco has actually just bought up Dr. Foster's and Smith. And I wanted to do a video on that, um, really expressing my outrage on the fact because... Simply put, Petco is just nowhere near the caliber that Dr. Foster's and Smith is. And it's really upsetting um, because I have been a customer of Dr. Foster's and Smith ever since I started with the aquarium hobby. I started off buying um, salt mix and other um, equipment from them. And I've always been just ecstatic about their customer service. They've always um, emailed me right back if I've ever had an issue, um, reshipped items if I've needed them. And then I finally pulled the trigger, um, ordered my first fish online from them. I got actually that flame angel right there from them and he came in very fast. He was really inexpensive, even with the shipping. It helps a lot if you're doing group buys, but I was really pleased with him. I've had no problems with him so far. He's um, really good with corals, but that's really up to the fish personality. But I've just had nothing, nothing but good things to say about Dr. Foster's and Smith. And now we get to having them owned by Petco, which is, in my opinion, it's awful because when, during the freshwater hobby, I used to, that's the first place I used to go was to Petco and buy my freshwater fish. And um, looking back on it, they always had ick, they had something wrong with them, they were underfed, malnourished, what have you. Um, I lost a lot of fish like that, and they, and being a beginner, um, I didn't know all this stuff, so I thought it was my fault, and I was trying to go get another fish. They said no, so it's uh, it was really really difficult being with them. Um, they, I have a Petco right near my house, so I go there sometimes if it, um, to check their prices. If it's easier just to go pick up something like salt, for instance, they're always uh, higher priced than Dr. Foster's and Smith, and so I would always have to order online. Not have to; it was really a lot easier to order from Dr. Foster's and Smith. Um, better prices, fast shipping, and most of the time it was free shipping because they have uh, free shipping over $50. But I'm just really hoping that Petco takes over. They don't try and do things their way. Um, I've seen company mergers before that um, it's just awful what the new company will do to the old company's standards and reputation and customer base. There's already a lot of reefers um, showing their distress. And I just really hope that, especially their livestock, doesn't change. Customer service also is excellent. I hope um, that doesn't change. They say um, it's going to go on at business as usual. I really hope that's the case. I hope there's no um, merger consequences, if you would. But this is just a quick little rant expressing my distaste about the uh, merger of Petco buying up um, Dr. Foster's and Smith. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. I'd like to hear what you guys think on the issue. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I'll see you.